Good morning, Fagoholic friends. Today is August 22nd um, in the morning. We have um, quite a bit of smoke from wildfires from quite a far away still. And this is a fig I got from my friend Bass in Pennsylvania. And um, it's called Allentown, Allentown Black. And it's an unknown variety. Um, you know, this is an example of variation in leaf shape here. Um, here's a single spade or mulberry leaf it's referred to sometimes and here are very long fingers. It grew kind of slowly for us at first for some reason but it's grown well now. And um, I see there's some fruit that already dropped on the ground. This is in a spot where we removed an older tree that um, wasn't doing that well for us or just not that great of a fig and so um, I hadn't been checking the older rows for new tree. There's a crop duster plane flying, praying, feel quite a ways away, um, alfalfa. At this time of year there's um, alfalfa weevils or army worms that get in there. Anyway, so you'll hear that noise in the background. Uh, it looks like the uh, small to medium sized fig. I see there's a couple of ripe ones here ready. I've not had this before. I could have picked some earlier already, um, so I wouldn't say it's a late fig. It's just I haven't gotten around to the, the long stem on it. Say it's moderate to very sweet, um, moderate berry flavor. Let me try this small one. This one's drying already some. So more intense flavor. I'm not sure if I have any other. I think this one over here is a larger fruit, but it's not ripe. It's quite firm still. Here's a, a small one that is very dry. I'm just going to open it up. As I expected, the sugar level is high enough it doesn't spoil, so it can dry right on the tree unless it drops off. So again, this is called Allentown Black. Thanks for watching.